In this video, we'll discuss about how do we record a sales cycle in Tally Prime. To record a sales cycle, we have some steps which we are going to explain you through the cycle and then we'll try to have a practical experience in Tally. The first step is quotation voucher which we have to record. Second step we have to record a sales order. Third one it's delivery note. Later rejection in sales voucher and credit note and receipt voucher. To have a practical experience, we will try to show you in Tally Prime. So let me go to the voucher. As you can see, I have tried to open the sales order. To make this voucher as quotation, I will press Ctrl L so that the status will become as optional voucher. Let me select the name of the party and the item I will give the quantity and the rate I will try to press control A. Now my successfully quotation is being generated. Now I need to record a sales order, I will select the same party and item, I will enter the quantity and the rate, I will try to save this voucher. Once the sales order is been done, I need to record a delivery note. To record delivery note, I will press F10 show inactive delivery note. I will activate this voucher, I will select the same party, I will track the order number. As you can see, the quantity has been and the rate has come automatically by using the order number. I will try to save this voucher. If in case Due to delivery, if goods were got any damaged, we will try to do return the goods with the help of rejection in. We will go to the voucher, show inactive, we will click on rejection in voucher and we will select the same party to whom we are going to return it. So we found that there were some goods were damaged. So the damage quantity were 2, I will try to accept those transaction. Once the rejection has been done, we need to record a sales voucher. So let me record a sales by selecting the same party. I will track the delivery note. So as you can see, I have placed order for 15 quantity due to 2 pieces were damaged. The quantity has been picking as 13 digits. So I will just press accept this voucher. So once I received all the sales, I tried to check all the pieces. There was only one piece were which of unsized which I wanted to return that is called sales return. To record the sales return, I will press F10, I will select the credit note voucher, I will select the party, so I will press control A, I will select the same shirts and I will select the quantity which won't I found there was unsized, I will try to accept this voucher. So once this sends transaction is been done, let me record a receipt voucher. 
To record a receipt voucher, I will press F 6, I will select the party name and the ledger of for whom I need to make a payment. I will make a payment of entire money, I will just save this voucher. To view this accounting reports, we have to go to display more reports under accounts book. As you can see, there is a receipt register, sales register and credit note register. So, there are inventory reports as well. To view this inventory reports, you need to go to inventory books, sales order book, delivery note register and rejection in register. Note the sales order, delivery note and rejection in does not affect your accounting, it affects only inventory. To view the quotation report, you need to go to display more report, exception reports and you can see the optional vouchers. So, you will be able to see the sales order. Thank you.